In this video, I'm going to talk about whether or not it's a good idea to go to college or not. Coming up. Hi everyone, this is Ernesto from Attaboy Cowboy. And on this channel, we give advice and tips for investing and for important life decisions. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. So right now I've been getting a lot of questions from people about whether or not it's a good idea to go to college. My cousins have been asking me, my neighbors, some of my friends, and they know that I went a long time to school. I went 15 years. So I have some experience and I wanted to share with you some of the ideas I have as to why it might be a good idea for you. So my cousin Chris Alcala was telling me about these guys been watching on YouTube and he suggested I watch them and they were suggesting that it's not a good idea to go to college. Now I have, I want, I went in with an open mind. I listened to these guys and they had some very compelling arguments and some of the ideas that they had, they said basically school was training you to be, to be a worker and to be a worker your whole life. Right? You know, it, I might be biased because I went to school and I'm really into school and I really had a good experience, right? But I think that I never took a class that said it was going to teach me how to be, to work, be a worker. All the classes I took were like chemistry, organic chemistry, calculus, English, math, psychology, whatever. I took all sorts of classes. More than anything, it just increased my general knowledge about everything. That you know that I come across my everyday life so my cousin Chris was asking me if I thought it was a good idea based on the idea that well he can go get a job he can be successful like Bill Gates or Steve Jobs or some of these other people that have been successful without school and my answer to him was well a lot of these people that we just mentioned did go to school yes they dropped out but they did go to school. And I think that's an important step in someone's life to go to school, try it out for a while and see if you like it or not. And if you don't like it, well, let's say you're 18 or 20 or 40 or whatever age you are, what else are you gonna be doing? If you don't really know what you wanna do, you can either get a job, you can go to the military or go to school. And in my opinion, if you're not really sure, go to school. You can go to school part-time and you can still work part-time. You can go to school full-time, work part-time, etc. Or you can, so you can still pursue other businesses or ideas and stuff you might have, but at least try it out and see what you like. Now, these guys are the exception, obviously, like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, and there's a lot of other people that have been successful and they haven't went to school. But then there's also people like Oprah Winfrey, Warren Buffett, there's a lot of other people that have went to school and were also really, really successful. So you got two sides here, right? And you're probably wondering, well, I think I'm gonna to lean towards this side. Well, it, it, it makes sense because only about 10% of the US population has a college degree. So that means 90% don't. So a lot of these folks that are telling you not to school, not to go to school, they're telling you something that you want to hear, in my opinion. And I think a lot of people are going to like that. They're going to say, hey, I like that. Someone's telling me I don't have to go to school. I don't have to do all that work. That's cool. All right. And it gives you confidence. And, and to be honest, not everybody has to go to school. Um, in fact, I went to school a long time. But I can't say that it's my degrees that made me successful, to be honest with you. I think what makes people successful is your vision your vision and that's what you have to develop. And that is true. Like you can have that whether you go to school or not. Okay, the thing is that if you go to school, you're gonna increase your general knowledge. You're gonna have more data to pull from. Think about yourself as a computer. Do you wanna be like a, a two gigabyte RAM or like a eight gigabyte RAM or a 16 gigabyte RAM? You want more power. So the more power your brain has, the more you're going to be able to look at things and evaluate them and critical think and really 
pull from all that knowledge and experience you have and come up with creative ideas on how to resolve uh, problems that people have because that's what really makes people wealthy is solving problems it's not how many degrees do you have it's hey can you solve this problem like uber they solve the problem it's really cheap and it's great you can stand on any corner and get a ride somewhere in fact i i'd only used a taxi once in my life um my whole life until uber came online and now i use it several times a week in fact sometimes i have a car i still prefer to use uber because it's so much more convenient and cost effective in downtown LA it's 20 bucks to park and I can take the uber for two three dollars somewhere and come back for another two three dollars it doesn't even make sense to drive it makes sense to uber so that's a really good solution to a problem uh, that people have iPhones are awesome one iPhone does a million things so it got rid of like computers and fax machines and scanners and all sorts of things you can use your, your phone for so that's what you want to focus on solving problems now what is the probability of you being able to solve these problems better if you go to school well I think that's what this all boils down to is probability it's kind of like driving around in your car should you wear your seatbelt well if you go down the street and you get in a car accident and you're wearing your seatbelt the probability that you survive and that you're not injured is much higher if you have your seatbelt, right? If you don't have your seatbelt, the probability of you getting hurt is much greater. So I think like everything in life, you have to look at probabilities, statistics. It's like gambling, playing craps or something, right? How many times are you gonna roll a snake eyes or a pair of sixes? So if you go to school, the probability of you being successful is going to be greater. Yes, you can be successful without school, but your probability is going to be lower. And a lot of people, it's true, like something like, I think I read something like 60, 70 percent of people are not working in the field that they studied in school. So they're saying that 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 makes that's a good reason as to why school is a waste of time. Not necessarily because, yeah, you may not be working in that field, but it increased your general knowledge and it made your brain, your computer, a lot more powerful. When I talk about powerful, I'm talking about this. See, so when I want to work on my guns, I go to the gym. I lift weights, you know, my mu muscles get bigger, etc. right? But how do you work on your brain? You read books, you learn information. That's how you work this muscle. And that's how you make this muscle more powerful more powerful and the more powerful you make this muscle the higher probability that you're going to be able to solve problems and come up with solutions i know that when i took organic chemistry calculus all these like physiology these science classes for me they're really tough i was president of the math club and i struggled with all my science subjects but it, it really made me study and think and it, it disciplined me to have to sit there for 10, 12 hours. In fact, I used to go to the library at USC and stay there for three days at a time, studying every week. I would, I would go to class, get out to the library, study. Back to class, study, go back to the library, study. And I'd just sleep there. I would take a, a loaf of bread and a jar of peanut butter and some jelly, and I would just drink tap water, mainly because I didn't have any money. But I just ate sandwiches and just studied. When I got tired, I just put my head down for a while. And when I got, when I woke up, I keep studying. I'd take a half hour break, two hour study. I just stay up all night. I'd stay there for days and study. And I'd get one hour a day. I'd separate to go to the gym. I'd have 10 minutes to run to the gym, 40 minutes to exercise, and then 10 minutes to shower and get back to the library. That's, that's how my schedule was. I give myself about 60 to 70 minutes to be able to complete my routine. That way I made sure I got some exercise. And someone's probably saying, well, why would I wanna do that? Why would I wanna go through that? Well, think about the Olympics or think about Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan. To be as great as they are, they have to have discipline. They have to work really hard. Even people that drop out of college, they don't stay at home and watch Netflix. They're disciplined. They're working their butts off, studying, doing work, doing, learning their craft and just becoming really good at it. If you read about Mark Zuckerberg, 
he would just work all the time, the guy from Facebook, all these people. So they have this really strong work ethic. I learned that self-discipline going to school. They taught me how to focus myself, focus my energy and develop my computer so that I could solve com complex problems. So it increased the probability that I would be successful. So for those 60, 70% of people that aren't practicing their field, I'd, I'd say it's totally cool. I think that you should do whatever your vision leads you to do. Whatever you decide you want to do in your life is what you should do. You should follow your dreams. You may study to be a doctor. You may not want to be a doctor. You might be like my cousin Mishka. He started, he started college when he was 14. He's a genius. He studied to be an aerospace engineer. This guy was, is a total stud. Brilliant man. He couldn't wait to get out of school. Towards the end, he was like, you know what? I don't want to do this. Everybody was offering him free rides for masters and PhDs and whatever he want. Anybody would roll the red carpet out for him. It's just not what he wanted. But now he's a film director. And he may disagree with me because he's not using his aerospace engineering degree, but it does mature your mind and it does make it more powerful. So you're gonna be a much better problem solver. So when you're trying to decide whether or not you should study, I think a more important question to ask yourself are what are the alternatives? Like if my family owns a really awesome company in logistics or building kitchens or whatever it might be, or a plumbing company, and things are looking good, it looks like I can join the family business, I can study it, I can learn it, I can practice that, and I like that business, then sure, go for it. But if you're like most people and your family doesn't own a business and you're not sure what to do, I would say to consider your alternatives. Work, study, or stay home. Stay home is never a good deal. So definitely don't stay home. If you're not sure you wanna to go to school, go do a volunteer assignment. Go traveling around the world somewhere. There's a lot of opportunities to travel for free. You can check out my blog and I have a list there of ways that you can find things to do anywhere around the world for free. You can go, you can go work for somebody, travel for free. That will give you some more insight. Aside from studying, traveling is one of the other most eye-opening experiences you can have. In my opinion, a month of traveling somewhere like Thailand or Egypt or South Africa or wherever is like studying for a semester or a year. You know, you really get a lot of information. So look at probabilities and your probability for success in life in general is going to be better if you study. No one's going to brainwash you in school and tell you that you have to be a worker. No one ever told me anything like that. I learned self-discipline, I gained knowledge, and I've been using this knowledge to apply to all the different businesses I do. It's given me a lot of confidence. It, it really helps you out. So if you're not sure, I would suggest that you try it out. And if you find it's not for you and you have a better alternative, then go for it. Try that out. You can always come back. But I would definitely say to dig in and try it. Thank you very much for listening. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.